Picture this, a beautifully curved bell ringing in the middle of a vast data landscape. This isn't a dream or a fantasy. This is the symphony of the bell curve, a concept that rings true in every corner of research and statistics. Let's chime into its melodies today. Hi, I'm Matthew Courtney, and here we talk all about education, research, and data. If that's music to your ears, be sure to subscribe to this channel and come be a part of our community. Okay, even I think that was one too many bell puns. Let's get into it. The bell curve, also known as a Gaussian distribution, or the normal distribution, is a fundamental concept in statistics. But what is it really? Take a look at this graph, a smooth, symmetrical curve, peaking in the center and gently tapering off on either side. That's our bell. The bell curve's history dates back to the 18th century. The famous mathematician, Carl Frederick Gauss, developed the concept while studying astronomical data. Hence the name Gaussian distribution. Let's dive into what makes the bell curve truly fascinating. At first glance, its symmetry captures your attention. One half of the bell curve serves as a perfect mirror of the other. This symmetry implies that the data flanking the center or the mean are evenly spread out. In a perfect bell curve, this even distribution leads to a significant alignment at the peak where the mean, median, and mode, the three measures of central tendency are all the same. Another key aspect of the bell curve is how it handles variation through the concept of standard deviation. The spread of the curve is a visual representation of standard deviation in action. To break it down, about 68% of the data falls within one standard deviation from the mean. This percentage increases to roughly 95% within two standard deviations and approximately 99.7% within three. These figures underline the predictability and uniformity inherent in our bell curve. But the question arises, why does the bell curve hold such a place of significance? The answer lies in its universality. The bell curve appears across a freaky number of natural phenomena. For instance, the height of individuals or standardized exam scores. When aggregated in large samples, these almost always form a bell curve. This universality brings us to its predictability. Knowing these properties of the bell curve allows us to forecast with a degree of certainty. For example, in a sufficiently large sample, we can predict that about 68% of observations will fall within a specific range. Moreover, the bell curve lays the foundation for understanding the standard scores, such as a z-score. These scores are instrumental in assessing how typical or atypical a particular data point is compared to the rest. In essence, the bell curve is not just a statistical figure, but a key to unlocking insights across a wide spectrum of natural and human-made phenomena, making it a cornerstone of predictive analytics and statistical analysis. Now, let's consider the impact of a bell curve to our school setting. Imagine we're analyzing scores of high school students on a national math exam. When plotted on a graph, we notice a classic bell curve. The peak represents the average score. Those scoring close to this are in the majority. And as we move away from the mean in either direction, higher or lower scores, the number of students decreases. Now, a student asks, I scored 85%. How do I compare to everyone else? Here, the bell curve comes in handy. If the mean is 70% and the standard deviation is 10, our student score is 1.5 standard deviations above the mean. Knowing that roughly 95% of students score within two standard deviations, we can confidently say that this student performed better than the majority of test takers. Beyond education, bell curves appear in numerous realms, psychology, biology, business, and other social sciences. It serves as a foundational tool for hypothesis testing and understanding population characteristics. We'll cover those concepts in other videos in this series. The bell curve isn't just another graph or statistical nuance. It's a testament to patterns in nature, a reflection of standardization and a tool for comprehension. As education data analysts, the bell curve helps us to create context around educational outcomes and assessments, enabling us to understand not just the performance of individual students, but also the distribution of scores across the entire student body. By applying principles of the bell curve, we can identify areas where interventions are needed, recognize outstanding student achievements, and ensure resources are allocated more efficiently. If you found value in this video today, make sure you like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this playlist. I'll see you next time.